Rick and Sharon some amazing shots shot earlier today and sent in to us. So thank you everybody for sending them in. We're going to continue to show you these pictures through the night. But first, we're going to start off with just a few highlights from today. So we're going to skip ahead right now. We're actually going to skip back. Follow me right here back to the Antelope Valley. There we go. We didn't want to skip you there. And this is Shuttle Endeavor flying over the Antelope Valley earlier today. As we carry on to the next shot right here, you're going to see this is actually over Disneyland. So a few landmarks taken earlier today. One more shot for us right now. This is over the Coliseum right there. So again, shut take a look at that. The shuttle just flying right overhead. We've got time for a couple more. There's the Queen Mary in Long Beach. Yeah, take a look flying over the Queen Mary and looks like we got time for one more. This shot I love. This shot is amazing. Look how low it is flying over LA right there. So we've got a few more shots to show you. Thank you again for sending in all these pictures. We're going to have more throughout the night. And of course, we'll have your weather forecast coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, thanks, Evelyn. Well, what a week it's been, and what a week, uh, what a way to end the week. Yeah, Fun way to cap right? it off with this today massive aircraft. Yeah. The the bang. It was so cool. Yeah. I was in Santa Monica earlier today, uh -huh. and I was trying to get to the beach, but I was running errands, and I just stopped in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. I was right by the promenade, and literally everyone was stopped on the sidewalk. The entire promenade stopped, and everybody looked up. It's like, like a that. scene from a movie. It really yeah. is. Right? It was such a surreal feeling. The cars yeah. stopped. I mean, it was cool. That's cool. Everybody just stopped for yeah, a moment. The weather was perfect for it. A little yeah. warm it, and, you know, for some folks. It was but, a little warm. Yeah. And, and the thing at the coast, too, it was a little foggy earlier today. And that's mm -hmm. something that we were afraid would transpire. And it did, but didn't really get in the way. Once it got out of the haze after lift off there, we were able to see Endeavor pretty clearly. We got great shot mm -hmm. all across the Southland. So we got some great shots of Endeavor as well. So we're going to have more of those coming up in a little bit. Of of course, we do want to talk about your weekend forecast. We ended the week with a bang, and as we head into the weekend, we're starting off the first day of fall tomorrow and into the morning hours as well. 77 degrees, and that's right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. As we get a look at radar, you'll see mostly clear conditions at the moment, but we are bracing for a bit of fog, mainly along the coast. Temperatures in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, 81 in Palmdale, 84 in Riverside as we head to Downey, 74 PV at 69 over to the Orange County coastline, 73 degrees, and that's for Laguna Beach. So the first day of fall, tomorrow and as a result we're bringing you some cooler temperatures low pressure coming in cooling down temperatures and bringing in increasing cloud cover into the picture so we are expecting fog overnight possibly just at the coast at this point eventually spanning into the basin and eventually even into our inland valleys into the overnight hours so that pattern is really going to start to develop earlier today we got up to 91 degrees that was for downtown averages 82 record numbers 108 so we inched closer but didn't quite get there and over the next 24 hours we're expecting 60s, 70s, and by the afternoon, a mix of clouds and sun for the basin, 87 degrees. That's going to be for downtown Santa Monica, 76, Palmdale, 97, Riverside, 96, and same thing goes for Woodland Hill. So we're officially out of the triple digits to ring in the first day of fall. And then as we head to Sunday, a little cooler, a little cloudier, and keeping things even cooler as we head into your Monday, your Tuesday, and your Wednesday. Coming up, we're going to show you what it looks like inland, and of course, we've got your beach forecast. That's all coming up in a little bit, so... Don't go away. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right, thank you. Sharon, these pictures were absolutely fantastic. We're going to take you back to the freeway. Some of the freeways were actually stopped earlier today. The 105 right by the freeway. People stopped, got out of their cars, and looked up in the sky. Pretty amazing stuff. This is from the 405 flyover earlier today from Edgar Ortega. Thank you for sending that in. This next picture is from Shelly. She was at LAX earlier wow. today. Wow, how that is. So looks close. pretty good. Massive. I mean, it's amazing how close to the the ground it was. Our next picture is uh, from Hollywood. Take a look at this and uh, you can see Lara Panosian actually sending in this picture. Samantha mm. Mays wow. at the Griffith Observatory earlier today. Looks like it's almost on top of the dome there. You <laughs> is know? it going to land there? Yeah, yeah. Right? All of this looks like it's been superimposed. It, I know. It doesn't really, it? really does. <laughs> it does <laughs> several landmarks the way around you can Photoshop California. California. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look real. But I mean, it really, real. and it was surreal for those of you that saw it in person. It really did look like this. We want to take you to the shrine. Leslie sent this in earlier today. Look at that, right on top of the Shrine Auditorium. Not literally, but almost, right? Very close. And finally taking you to the beach, one of the first spots Endeavor went over in Zuma. So Dan sent this in from Zuma in Malibu. You're gonna see Endeavor just flying Aww. overhead. So thank you all. Yeah, I know, thank you. This we love is our, amazing. our street team. Uh, thank you, street team, yeah. People, yeah, thanks we a lot, really you guys. really do. We're, thank you. Oh, sure thing. All right, well, we'll have more coming up, and we'll have the weather coming up too, so don't go away. All Back right, perfect. You.
But it you is. Know? It's going to be here any minute. Yes, it's almost here. It's arriving in, well, a little bit. <laughs> we got a little just over hours. 12. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Evelyn, did you like look at your hours. watch and realize you didn't have one there? Is that what? I was just trying to pretend <laughs> to look at my watch. I never wear a watch. I used to. It's I think a it's cell like phone. Three hours away. Fall. It's the age. Of, no, it's about 14 hours. It's oh. about 10 in the morning tomorrow. Oh. There's an actual time for fall. Yeah, to roll. I didn't know it's that. the equinox. It's called the autumnal oh. equinox, exactly. my friend. It absolutely is. I'll set so my alarm. We're looking at 12 hours a day, 12 hours of night. That's what happens during an equinox. So that's going to happen tomorrow. The first day of fall is going to hit, and poof. We're going to start to cool down, actually. We're already looking at a little bit of fog in the forecast. A much needed relief from the heat. So fog at the coast, clear inland, but even with that, it should be a few degrees cooler. Right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City, we're currently in the 70s. We're at 76 degrees. As we get a look at temperatures all across the Southland this evening, 60s, 70s, and a few 80s. 83 in Riverside, 80 in Palmdale, 77 in Valencia, 73 in Downey. As we head over to the coast, Malibu, we are at currently at 68 degrees. So the first day of fall is tomorrow. It's the equinox. It's going to be a little cooler and well, low pressures coming in. And because of that, we're cooling down. We're looking at increasing cloud cover. We're looking at cooler temperatures as well. And we're looking at that fog overnight and morning, low clouds and fog clearing to the coast by the afternoon. So we're going to continue on with your forecast right here. You will see temperatures earlier today got up to 91 degrees. Average is 82. So we were well above average. Record numbers 108 didn't get anywhere too close to that. And over the next 24 hours, just a tad cooler, still above average 60s, 70s. And by the afternoon, we are getting up to about 87 degrees. As we head to Santa Monica, 76 tomorrow. Palmdale at 97. Riverside 96 and Woodland Hills getting up to about 96 degrees as well as we head into tomorrow afternoon. As we get a look at your forecast right here, you will see a cooler forecast on the way. Low pressure on the way. High pressure starting to build over Southern California. And well, as it does, it's kept us warm, but it will start to break down. This low pressure system sitting well to our north is going to start to nudge in. That trough is going to dig into Southern California. And as a result, it's going to be a little foggier and it should be a little cooler, a little cooler tomorrow and even more cooling on the way as we head toward your Sunday and as we head toward the first part of next week. Upper 80s turning to low 80s, flirting with the 80s by your Wednesday. And as we get to your next forecast for the coast, as promised, we're starting off in the mid to upper 70s. And then we're looking at low 70s as we head toward your Monday and the rest of your work week. Rick and Sharon, back to you. All right. Thank you to everybody that sent those street team photos in. We're going to start off in the Antelope Valley with Vic Boyd's photo. Thank you, Vic, for sending this in. Take a look. There is the shuttle Endeavor right over the Antelope Valley earlier today. We did see a little bit of cloud cover, but nothing getting in the way of the flyover out there. As we take you to Disneyland now, Joseph Omega, or actually Martina Lee, excuse me, sent this in earlier to us. And again, this is from Disneyland. You'll see the flags right there in the corner. As we take you to our next shot, the Coliseum, one of my favorite places, of course. You big USC fans, so you'll see right here uh, Shuttle Endeavor flying right overhead. As we take you to our next spot, it's going to be Long Beach and Michael Ziegler sending this in. There's the Queen Mary, and you'll see the Shuttle Endeavor flying right over the Queen Mary. And finally, topping this off with a little shot right here from LA. Actually, we're going to bring you back right here. Take a look at this. This has to be one of my favorites. Looks like Endeavor is almost on the ground. This is from Stacy Carno from earlier today. So thank you, Stacy, for sending that. You're lighting up right there and a little bit of fog in the forecast along the coast. Other than that, nice and clear into our inland spots. Temperatures in the 60s, 70s and 80s, 81 in Palmdale, 74 in Downey. And as we head to Malibu, Endeavor there earlier today, 67 degrees. We have a great shot from Zuma. We're going to have that coming up in just a little bit. First day of fall kicking off tomorrow and with that temperature starting to cool down a little bit as low pressure makes its way into the forecast. We'll continue to see temperatures drop off and we'll continue to see increasing cloud cover. Looks like we could even see some low clouds span into the basin and into some of our inland valleys eventually as well. We're going to have that extended forecast of course coming up for you in a little bit, but do want to show you how warm we got earlier today. 91 in downtown average is 82, so we were well above average and record numbers 108. We didn't get too close to that, but as we head to the next couple of days, we're only getting cooler. Over the next 24 hours, 60s turning to 70s, eventually turning to the 80s by the afternoon, and we are expecting more cooling on the way. So, of course, we're going to have that cooler forecast. That's all coming up in just a little bit. Lena and Sylvia, back to you.
right, Ev? I think so. I hope so, at least. We're cooling down a little bit, and I know a lot of us have been wanting to do so. So that will be the case as we head into the first day of fall. As we take you outside to Long Beach, a gorgeous evening out there. It's mostly clear at the moment, very mild out there, and expecting temperatures to get a little cooler and expecting the fog to start to, well, make its way into the forecast. So we're going to have more on that in a minute. We'll take you to temperatures right now and to radar, actually, temperatures, and you're going to see numbers in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, 81 in Palmdale, 73 in Downey, 70 in Laguna Beach this evening, and 81 in Riverside. Tomorrow is officially the first day of fall, and as a result, temperatures are going to cool down. Well, it's not really as a result. It's really as a result of the low pressure that's moving in, but we'd like to think that it timed out perfectly, right? Sure did. Cooling down as we head into the next few days, a little cooler tomorrow, even cooler by your Sunday into next week, and we will start to see increasing cloud cover, not only at the coast, but eventually looking at some cloud cover in the basin and into our inland valleys as well. Earlier today, we made it to 91. Average is 82, and right Record numbers 108 didn't get anywhere too close to that and over the next 24 hours 60s 70s and 80s for us in the basin as we get a look at numbers for tomorrow you'll see Santa Monica 76 Riverside 96 Palmdale getting up to 97 so it looks like we're officially out of the triple digits at least for now and probably staying that way for a little while as we head into tomorrow though you'll see low pressure sitting just off the coast of the Pacific Northwest that trough sitting to our north is going to eventually start to dig into our forecast as it does the fog is going to start to move Move in. We're going to see cooler temperatures as well and high pressure that's been holding very strong over Southern California is going to start to break down a little bit. As a result, temperatures cooling a bit tomorrow, even more cooling by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday of next week. And as we get a look at your next five day forecast, you're going to see a similar pattern for the coast. 70s, mid 70s, turning to low 70s by your Monday, Tuesday and by your Wednesday, even a little cooler, expecting clouds and sun in the mix, but low clouds already making way back to the forecast at the coast and keeping things that way pretty much for the remainder of the week and for the beginning of your fall. We're going to have your forecast for our inland spots. That's all coming up in just a little bit. Don't go away. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. All right, we've got some street team photos from you along with the rest of your fall forecast. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Yeah, amazing picture sent in from you guys earlier today. So thank you to our street team for all of those amazing shots. We're going to start off. We're going to take you to the 405 earlier today. Take a look at this flyby by Endeavor earlier today. So thank you for that. Uh, we're going to carry on through these pictures. And as we do, you'll see right here our next shot uh, looks like it's also from LAX earlier today. Take a look at that. Uh, the shuttle Endeavor actually flying very low to the ground. This one is from Shelley. As we take a look at our next one from Hollywood, you'll see the Hollywood sign right there. Love this one. This has to be one of my favorite photos from today. And again, we got that sent in. There's the Hollywood sign. So Hollywood, this is from Lara Panosian. So I want to make sure we give you credit where credit is due. And as we get a look at the next shot from the Griffith Observatory, Samantha Mays. Thank you for sending that in earlier today, right on top of the dome, of the Griffith Observatory on Mount Hollywood right there. And as we get a look at the Shrine Auditorium, you'll see Endeavor flying overhead as well. This is from Leslie. So thank you for sending that in, Leslie. And finally, this is from Dan. He was in Malibu earlier today, and he sent us this great shot from Zuma in Malibu. You'll see the shuttle Endeavor right up there in the distance. So some great shots from you earlier today. Thank you to all our street team members. And this could continue to be the case over the next few days. Temperatures quite mild tonight, 74 degrees, and that's right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. The first day of fall hitting tomorrow, and as it does, we're going to see cooler temperatures. Low pressure making its way into the forecast, and as it does, we're cooling down and we are expecting a little more cloud cover in the mix as we head into the next few days, increasing cloud cover. As we carry on through our forecast here, you'll see earlier today we made it to 91 in downtown. Average is 82, so we were well above average. Record numbers 108. Didn't get anywhere too close to that. We're actually getting a little cooler tomorrow, even though technically we're still above average for this time of year. 60s turning to 70s, turning to 80s. We're at about 87 degrees in the afternoon hours. That's going to be for downtown. Santa Monica 76, Anaheim 91, Riverside 96, and Woodland Hills getting up to about 96 degrees as well 
as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So we still have high pressure sitting overhead, but starting to break down as low pressure starts to work its way in. You'll see that trough sitting to our north. It's going to start to dig into Southern California, and as it does, we'll see a little more, more fog in the mix, and we'll see a little bit of a cooler forecast as we head into tomorrow and more cooling to do as we head into your Sunday and as we head into next week. Futurecast is going to show us a little more fog in the mix as we head into the overnight morning hours by 2.45 a.m., dealing with a bit of fog along the Orange County coastline, moving its way into the Santa Monica Bay by 5.30 and by 10 in the morning, still looking at some fog at the coast and things still looking a little foggy at the coast. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun by about 3 p.m. tomorrow and that will continue through the evening hours. We're still expecting to see fog over the next few days. For the valleys in the Inland Empire, upper 90s turning to mid 90s, flirting with the 90s by your Monday and keeping things that way by your Tuesday, a few clouds by your Wednesday. As we get a look at your next five day forecast for the basin and for Orange County, upper 80s turning to mid 80s, low 80s by your Monday, by your Tuesday, and some low clouds and upper 70s by your Wednesday. So gradually cooling down the forecast day by day. And as we take you to the coast, 70s turning to mid 70s, eventually turning to the low 70s as we head to Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. And temperatures starting to cool down as we head to fall and more on Shuttle Endeavor. We've got some great pictures for you coming right up. And speaking of right, I sure have a really great picture coming up for you guys in one second. First, uh, this is video from earlier today, or actually a live picture. It's a live picture of Endeavor. She's a beauty. How cool She's is that? Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Oh, I saw her earlier today up in the sky and now docked. So just a great shot, live shot actually mm -hmm. for us tonight. Here's the favorite picture. Thank you for sending that in earlier today. So just a wonderful, memorable, fantastic day out there. Gorgeous day for the flyovers that we saw earlier today and heading into a pretty fantastic weekend, actually heading into the first day of fall as we head to tomorrow. So we get a look at radar, mostly clear, but we are expecting a bit of fog along the coast. 60s and 70s outside right now, 70s in the basin, 80s in the high desert and 60s and 70s at the coast. So the first day of fall is tomorrow. And on top of that, well, we're looking at a cooler forecast, low pressures working its way into Southern California. And as a result, it'll be cooler. It'll be a little cloudier as well as we head into the next few days. Temperatures cooling down to the 70s, 80s and 90s. So it's not cool by any stretch of imagination, but cooler than where we've been. Earlier today, we were in the 90s in downtown. Pretty impressive considering average is 82, record number is 108. So we were well above average and by tomorrow we're still above average over the next 24 hours, 60s, 70s and 80s under mostly to partly sunny skies by the afternoon for the basin. Santa Monica 76, Palmdale 97, Riverside 96 and Woodland Hills getting up to about 96 degrees as we head into tomorrow afternoon. You'll see right here as we get a look at your forecast, a ridge of high pressure was building over Southern California. Now it's going to start to weaken as that low pressure trough starts to dig into Southern California. Temperatures are going to get cooler. We'll see more fog in the forecast and it's very appropriate because tomorrow at 1049 AM, it's going to be the official start of fall. It's the equinox tomorrow, exactly 12 hours of Day, 12 hours of night. That's what happens there. So there we go. Fall heading to the forecast tomorrow, cooling down into your Sunday, Monday into the first part of next week for the basin and for Orange County, expecting a little bit of low cloud cover in the morning, mostly to partly sunny skies by the afternoon for the coast, mid to upper 70s, turning to low 70s as we head into your work week. So starting to feel a little like fall, at least Southern California fall, upper 80s for you uh, for the valleys in the Inland Empire next week. Until then, upper 90s tomorrow and just a little cooler as we head into your Sunday and every day getting progressively cooler. Looks like things are staying much the same for the valleys in the Inland Empire, though, staying in the upper 80s with a few clouds re-entering the picture by your Wednesday. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Right Thank now. you.